Hey you guys, it's Sunshine Babs with the Have Bad Birth Chance. If you are new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and like to you all. I hope everybody is doing good. So I'm going to tap right into these messages, you guys. I did have to pour me a cup of tea because I before I even started this read, when I started channeling the messages, something said that, you know, they was going to try to fuck with my throat chakra. So, yeah, I went ahead and made me a cup of tea. Okay, so I'm going to get right into these downloads. So I've been getting a lot of downloads. I don't know, some of you all could be like... Uh, feeling a little afraid okay somebody could have like a little anxiety uh this could be about a job okay so maybe it's money some of you all could have lost a job or there's just something significant about a job that's going on out here somebody could be a little afraid okay so there is something about Somebody wanted you to feel ill, maybe about a job, okay? Some of you also are being called to read the the, the book of job, okay, in the Bible. Um, there is something about coming back. So some of you all, like I said, could actually lost a job and you're being called to like, um, just trust in God right now, okay? I actually have read a little bit in the book of job and in this, particular part in the Bible, okay, Job's value, okay, his value was of patience and perseverance, okay, this is something about the importance of holding our tongue, not to mention God's faithfulness, restore power and goodness, so somebody wants you to hold back uh, speaking about God, but you're doing a job for God, so why wouldn't you hold back from talking about God? This definitely give me like a spiritual and religious thing. So this could be like, somebody could be really religious, okay? And they want you to be ill, okay? Because of your perception, okay? Because of how you see something, right? Uh, this happens a lot with chosen ones, okay? Because there's something about our knowledge. It's something about the hidden knowledge, okay? People don't understand because you don't understand right you don't you don't understand you just know that it's in your blood since birth okay i'm hearing since birth and then we have um the other download i was getting it has something to do with edith <laughs> okay so edith means wealth and prosperity right but this is also a name in the Bible. And Edith, okay, is actually a blessed girl who is a gift to mankind. So whoever you are, I feel like you are a blessing. There's something about you being a happy warrior. So like I said, again, you could go through a lot of trials and tribulations. You know, you could have lost a job. You could be looking for a job. Okay, God wants you to know if you are into spiritual practices, this is your job, okay? Um, and we might... It might not seem like that it's your job because you might not be making no money, <laughs> okay? A little to nothing, right? But this is why God is calling you to like read, uh, read more books, read more about him. You might not be called to actually read the Bible, okay? It could be other, another book, but some of you all could actually be getting downloads in the Bible because like I said, uh, I just kept getting the download about a job and I instantly thought the book of job, okay? Because this was very important, right? For us to keep uh, to keep this mindset of faithfulness, okay? And to remind us of, you know, why we are the way we are, okay? Because in this particular part in the Bible, job, the book of job, this rich man loses everything without warning, like with no warning, okay? But he still remains faithful to God. And even in the book of Job, I'm pretty sure you guys, it's been times where you felt the same way, okay? And this is like myself recently. Um, I had a move and I ended up being homeless with my mom and, and <laughs> my kids. And I was actually, you know, going through a lot at that time. So, um, I never lost faith and hope in God. So, it's just like giving me the energy. Whatever you all are going through, don't lose faith. Don't lose hope in God, okay? Because God, 
he is letting you know this is your job. Your job is to let the people know who he is, okay? Give people messages, okay? Be a light worker. Follow your path. These people want you to feel ill, okay? They want you to feel like you're doing something wrong, but it's something about coming back. Just because you lost a job or just because you lost something, God is going to put you in a position to come back, but it's all about your faith, right? 528, as I say that, ooh, we, my higher self is definitely talking right now. Okay, you guys, I hope your higher self is understanding that you are a job, okay? You are a job, okay? God wants you to know you are his job, okay? You have to do his work, okay? Because this is whatever, if he's putting you in a position where it's hard for you to find a job or it's hard for you to uh, get money, it's because he's 555. He is trying to change, make some major changes in your life. This is because you are chosen, okay? You are chosen to do this job, okay? And like I said, it is going to bring wealth and prosperity, but it's all about your belief, okay? You have to believe, right? Even when you have anything, nothing at all. There's something about the city that you all could live in too. I was getting this download. You all could be being called to move or you're being called to do something here that is going to take you out of your comfort zone. This is because there's something about a wicked corruption going on. There is something wicked going on where you are resigned at, okay? Your home city, your hometown. Okay, there is something about a sinful city that is going to be destroyed, right? It was giving me the energy of... There is some type of... I don't know, some, some, type, some type of sexual immort immortal activity going on, right? This is, could be like... I just been getting a lot of this energy, but it's something about a sinful city, right? That is just going to be destroyed. I feel like um, you're being called to focus on your job and to do the works of God, right? Because it's like the city that you in, people do not believe in something. It's something very wicked and corrupt going on and where you live. But it's something about your suffering that's innocent. So people wanted to, you know, destroy your character, make you feel like you're doing something wrong. No, your, your suffering is very innocent, okay? And it's not covered up. You're not doing anything. You're not hiding anything from anyone. You know, this is what's going on. So, okay. Hold on, you guys. Okay, you guys, my bad for that. But yeah, this has something to do with your city. It's like, there's something about your city. It's just like, there's like, nah, it, it's something ain't right. Okay, it's time to go because this it's real sinful. Like, you can live in a small town, you know. And like I said, it's something very wicked going on. Like, very wicked behind the scenes. It's really giving me an energy like, you know, like if you were, when we were younger, I, it's giving me an energy like, okay, maybe you hang with a group. Maybe this is a group of people. Oh, wait. Maybe you hang with a group of people. Maybe you don't want to do something anymore. Yeah, talking about you. Maybe you want, you don't want to do something anymore and people are looking at you like whatever you are doing is wrong. Yeah, praying you fall, but in our reality, people are like in a coven. They're talking about you. They're talking down on you. Oh, we the devil. I can't make this up. They praying that you fall. One, 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 as I say this. And spirit wants you to, you know, pay attention, be aware, okay, so you can get away from this this city. Because I'm hearing this city's going to be destroyed anyways. <laughs> like, yeah, it's time to get away. Yeah, blaming you. What did I say? It's like being in a group, right? Maybe this group is blaming you for what they're going through because you don't believe in something that they believe in. It's like two different beliefs going on. I've been picking up on this heavy. Even when I was getting the download, okay, I'm instantly getting spiritual work for it, okay? Yeah, vampire. These uh religious leaders, they do ciphering energy from chosen ones, right? 
So I'm getting this energy. You're very blessed and highly favored. And these people are trying to siphon your energy here. They're trying to blame you from for what they are. <laughs> yeah, Adam and Eve. What did I say? Psalms protection. They're trying to blame you because <laughs> you're highly protected her. You're very protected her, okay? Somebody's mad because you're blessed and highly favored, not because... But somebody is like, yeah, they acting very childish. They are praying that you fall, okay? Somebody is blaming you for what they are going through. Vision, because you're blessed. You're actually gifted. Like I said, you guys, you are a happy warrior. You're a gift to mankind, okay? These people know that you're a gift. They can actually see the gift of you. And like I said, you can be happy. You can have visions. You can be a visionary. There's something about you. I feel like these people really just can't take what they dish out. And what they dished out was they tried to make you be something that you wasn't. Yeah, why her? Now they're wondering why. Why you, not them, hidden haters. I'm telling you, it's something about this city, man. Okay, they feel like you're lucky and you got a lot of power and they don't like it. But this is because you have pure intentions. These people are sending you the evil eye because of this. Ooh, wait, what's that? This is very childish. Yeah, very childish. Three, 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 because you are spiritually supported. So no worries. We have competition in Pisces. So there's a lot of competition behind the scenes too as well that's going on here. But yeah, maybe these people just Maybe these people, I feel like it's group. With Adam and Eve, it's giving me a lot of temptation. It's a lot of temptation everywhere, though, right? So I wouldn't say just in your city because you move into a big city. Somebody could be mad. Okay, even if you move, it's more temptation when you move, I just heard, because you could be moving from a small city to a big city. But even with that temptation, if God put you in a position to move into that, out of that comfort zone, I'm hearing you, you're going to be able to fight that fight. It's just new levels, new devils, right? So don't be discouraged here, because somebody can be discouraged about moving, but spirit's like, you're already fighting these devils here, why not? <laughs> okay? Four, 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 as I say this, okay, God is trying to put you in a position where you can fight a different fight. Maybe you're going to be called to... Somebody here is being called, right? Many are called, but few are chosen. But somebody here is being called... To choose a different direction. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting this energy. Maybe you have people that are trying to get you to blame yourself. Okay, They want you to be in the energy of... Not feeling good, feeling down, not feeling okay. Somebody is just blaming you. This could even be a love. Who is this? What's going on? Yeah, protest. So you have people protesting against you. Somebody could even want to sue you. Yeah, pay attention. Somebody's trying to strategize some type of... Somebody's saying you lazy. You could be lazy. Somebody's saying you're lazy. This is why you don't have something. But like I said, it's giving me the book of jobs. If you lost your job... Or if something has happened in this nature, your faith, you're being tested from the universe. This is how, like, law of attraction, this is where it starts from. Like, you have to literally have this faith as above, so below. Can you still keep your inner calmness in when the world around you is falling apart? This is the energy I'm getting. I can't make this up. Natural disaster and schedule. Thank you, Spirit. When you take risk, you let the universe know you are ready for when you make sacrifices, you are letting the universe know you are ready for what's next, right? So this is, this could be frustrating, taking this risk. But you have people behind the scenes protesting against you, literally. And I'm getting nauseated doing this read. I'm not going to be in her too long. But whoever you are, you have people that literally are protesting against you that wants your attention because they took some type of risk and they're having a natural disaster. Or, like I said, these people wanted you to have a natural disaster. 
you could have already went through this. They are blaming you because this is the energy they projected and they're getting it back, right? Somebody wanted to rob you of your blessings and they collaborated with other people doing this because somebody feels something that you are doing is sinister. But they are being, they are the ones that are really sinister. These people are furious and mad because you are doing something to her. And I'm telling you, it was not a good idea because you are still winning because you withdrew from these people. You don't even hang with these people. You don't talk to these people. They want you to have nightmares. Like, what's going on, Spread? It was not a good idea. <laughs> Like I said, it wasn't a good idea to protest against you guys. Yeah, because somebody, it was an illusion. These people are going through a natural disaster. And like I said, it's something about you being a happy warrior. These people who are fighting a fight constantly and they're mad. Like somebody claims that they are so godly but they always mad like god is in your heart a godly love it's in your heart like how are you this godly person and you're always mad y'all pay attention to these people yeah we have promise responsible you could be very responsible somebody wants you to stop they want you to stop they want you to feel like you're left in the dark okay they, they want this ritual to work. Somebody's doing a ritual. This is why, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's this city, wherever you are, you're still reaching your goals, but there's something about getting away. There's something about getting away from the city. Yeah, fate, I'm, I, I can't make this shit up. Something is fated for you. It's fated for you to reach your goals. Somebody's birthday could be 10, 26. 1028 um, March 7th March 5th March 1st yeah pray pray about everything because there's definitely something going on here when it comes to religious factors somebody's been very stubborn they don't want to listen okay this can be people that's invested in causing you a disaster <laughs> they don't want to listen they want to be your enemy so bad yeah these people want to bring up memories they want you to have bad memories okay when people collaborated against you yeah about in reverse these people don't have any hope you really care about these people this is why okay whoever you are god wants you to take some time out right and do your job okay when it comes to building your bond with him strengthening your bond with him you have people in the background who do not care about you they are they're playing on your downfall you have a lot of current energy okay you have a lot of support spirit wants you to stay in this energy but there's people that they do not want to see you go too far because you are calm. Yeah, people don't like the fact that you are calm. They don't like that. So they're praying on your downfall because they see that you're stable and you're okay with being alone. They are trying to get evidence on you. Okay, they are seeing something mentally ill. It's something wrong with you. It has a lot to do with beliefs. Okay, somebody's really afflicted when it comes to adversity. People don't understand that when God's on your side, you can come back from anything. So yeah, illness. What did I say? Somebody wants you to be ill. They want you to feel overload. Yeah, somebody just, yeah, that furious, they're mad because they lost out, they just weren't mad. Okay, these people are stressed out. Yeah, profession, over your profession. What did I say? 11, 11. Your talent, okay, whoever you are, you have a lot of talent. You withdrawing from friends here and you're gaining something. Even if you aren't gaining something yet, you will be. Somebody's like, stop, they don't wanna hurt. I'm telling y'all. Thank you, Spirit. We have furious relaxation. These people are mad because you relaxed. Home, oh, work a job, try him a job. <laughs> okay. I'm working on I'm working on it. But okay, yeah, you y'all get what I'm saying. 1144. They're mad because you're relaxed. You're at peace. You're at ease, baby. But this is what God, this is the position God put you in. God put you in this position. 
to be relaxed, okay? These people are stressed out because they know they lost out trying to bully you, not listening to you. And then they want you to stop. <laughs> they want you to stop. Ah. They only want you to stop because they want you to be ill. Somebody knows that you found something that worked for you and they want you to be sick because they're sick about it, okay? Because they wanted to rob you of your gift. They can't rob you. They can't steal something, okay? They can't take what God already had for you. It was fate. It was already faded. God wanted you to withdraw from these people so you can have a win in trumpet. Somebody, somebody wanted you trapped in your head. They didn't want you to feel free. That's why I said if some of you feel this way, it's because somebody's projecting it on you. They don't want you to feel free, okay? They want you to feel like you did something on accident. No, God said he did it on purpose, okay? He took it away from you on purpose. He put you around these people on purpose. <laughs> Everybody had their purpose. They served their purpose. And this was in the plan. Now, this was only because God wanted you to see these people was not for you. Y'all see how that justice court just failed? You're about to get your justice. They, he wanted these people. He wanted you to see these people for who they was. People could have said to you, um, "People could have mocked you." Okay, I remember being homeless and somebody pulled up on me. Thirteen thirty-three. As I say this, it was around me every day when I had my house and said to me, "I'm so protected," and started laughing. <laughs> like. What is funny about knowing you protected? You don't have to put it in nobody's face, but people think because God changes things and things happen, that's going to take away your faith. That's going to take away your joy. Okay? What did Drake say? I had somebody tell me I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. And they want to see me pick, pick it up. But, what, but where are you leaving at? Because when God's on your side, baby, you have nothing to worry about. You always gonna win. Yeah, people fail to realize that you don't have to talk to people. All you gotta do is talk to God, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit Coach. All you gotta do is talk to God and be obedient. You have the knowledge and you're still stable. You're still at harmony here. You still planting seeds here and you still getting justice. I could never lose what they thought, okay? We have binding her. So I wanted to bind you to a contract. I wanted you to feel binded. They wanted you to feel trapped. All these people was doing all of this stuff to scare you. Like I said, they wanted you to feel like you was cursed. Like nothing was gonna ever work for you, okay? It's just cause this is the city, wherever you are at. <sighs> yes, okay, you have people that wanna apologize. Somebody could wanna confess something to you because they see that you are introvert, okay? You're very private. Okay, you separate yourself. Somebody's seeing the truth. This is why, yeah, a friend that wasn't trying to listen to you at first, but they see the truth. Now they're like, please forgive me. Because somebody could even be being homeless. Somebody could be getting what they wished for you. They could be homeless now. Okay? They could be homeless now. And that's why they want you to stop. Because they're like, hold on, we wanted this for you, not for us. But see, that's how the universe works. You can't sit there and want something for somebody else. And then you... You can't just do it. These people are just that mad because you persevering, okay, over challenges, overcoming obstacles. Her, they know there's a lot of goodness about yourself. Her, you do a lot of good things, things from the heart, and they feel overloaded because somebody feels like they're gonna be homeless because this is what they wanted for you. They're stressed out because they can't take what the fuck they they was dishing out, okay. Meanwhile, they was wearing a mask. They was an enemy. This could even been a friend, her. They try to gain something from you, but they couldn't even collaborate with people. They couldn't gain nothing. So, yeah, these people cursed their self, her. They wanted you to feel cursed. No, you're getting justice. Why is cursed, her? Yeah, you're getting justice. Trump, if you're winning, you're getting a victory, success. They didn't want to listen. Now they're stressed out because they lost. I feel like you don't want to compromise with these people. That's why they are having conflict because something's over. This collab collab collaboration, this strategy, this could even be your family. Like I said, this definitely has something to do with religious factors. Yeah, they wanted to trap you, disturb you, disturb your home, disturb something that you was invested in. 
Yeah, they wanted you to have bad memories. Somebody wanted you to go through something that you already went through. No, God said you got enough love for yourself in these people. Okay, why would you? he let you be disturbed? No, you have joy. We have joy, friendliness. Why would he let you be disturbed? Okay, these people are mad because you know how to save and you're gaining profit. Okay, they want evidence on what you're doing. They want evidence on your money, on your savings, on your gaining. The fuck? These people need to go fucking do something and mind their fucking business. Blaming you because you love yourself? Weak shit. Yeah, these people are fearful now. Somebody could be depressed her. Yeah, because they couldn't trap you. They couldn't disturb you. They couldn't disturb your blessings, your investments her. You could be called to travel. Somebody doesn't want you to travel either. They want you to be in conflict, but no, something's over. Yeah, it's collaboration. It's over. This, these bullies, these people wanted to bully you, her, into a ritual. Because they that somebody's nightmare is you being married and being happy. Somebody feels like, yeah, they, they're not getting good news. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're not getting good news. Somebody, somebody ain't getting good news. <laughs> yeah, these alliances that you have. They're not getting good news about this ritual, okay? Because <laughs> somebody could still be getting married, okay? There is still a, uh, some type of love. Somebody's very codependent, and somebody did not want to listen. Somebody's still coming towards somebody with the merch. Yeah, and this is, somebody is worried as fuck. Yeah, this third wheel, this enemy, this could actually be a third party situation here somebody could be just you know disturbed because they wanted they didn't want this person to come towards you and they are anyway okay y'all know the energy put the energy where it fits but we have you're ready for something here oh we oh my gosh y'all thank you thank you thank you thank you we got four 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 and these cards came out together we have evidence in reverse this person will have no evidence about you no proof okay they don't have any proof or nothing that's why this person is getting bad news because somebody's ready to come towards you because somebody has a lot of self-esteem okay somebody looks at you you ready you could be business oriented okay somebody's ready to build with you okay they're making arrangements or something before for four honey the universe is getting you back and what did i say it's giving me the book a job like i said in that particular text this rich man lost everything, but never lost his faith in God. So whoever you are, you might not have a whole lot. But even if he took what you had away, I bet you you still be ready. Because <laughs> if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. These people is crazy. But y'all got a lot to look forward to coming in. Let me pull some. Uh, I just heard, I don't know what to do. If you don't know what to do, pray and ask. Okay, God, what, what does he want you to do when it comes to your job? Okay, whatever job he wants you to do. Oh, we, I can't make this up. Hard work. You don't have to work overtime to be wealthy. I make money easily. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you have lost a job, baby, if you have lost a job, God wants you to know, okay? You are you are a job. You are his job. So good luck, baby. I am wise, okay? Somebody can have kids. Yeah, we got fake love. Well, this could be somebody you have kids with that was being fake, okay? Give me one more. Okay. We don't want to too many cards. Yeah, throat chakra. What did I say? They was going to try to fuck with the throat chakra. So somebody could be trying to mess up. <laughs> oh, we. Somebody trying to mess with you speaking up about something. When it comes to your job, you could do what I do. Okay? You could do turn readers. Like I said, you could not do personal reads. Okay? You could not be making a lot of money right now. That's just what comes with doing a God's job sometimes. Okay? You got to start with no profit. I think people start multi-billion dollar businesses. Okay? With multi-million dollars? <laughs> no. Somebody wish they did you better here. You 
gonna be between the ages 29 and 62. Yeah, please take me back. Somebody's in deep regret. Block of this. This person can't leave this karmic cycle here. 666, six, six, you refocus your energy on what matters. Somebody can't budget her. If you can't budget your income, look uh look up daily to reach any money goals you have. You could be an older male watching me. I hate you. Capricorn. Yeah, see, somebody hates you because they're working a bad job. I can't make this shit up. Okay, bad job. Don't stay at a soul-searching job. Do work that you have love to do. I love my high-paying job. See, 777, you getting to buy guidance. I'm telling y'all, whoever you are, do not stay at this bad job. If you work somewhere and you constantly feel like, you know, it's just not for you. Or if something constantly always happens when you get a job, it's not meant for you to work a job. I learned this myself, okay? Still thinking, ooh, my earth's itching. And they don't talk. <laughs> but Emperor, you big energy here. Whoever you are, I could be talking to a masculine. Okay, you can listen to some affirmations. I need to. I am thankful to change your mindset. But yeah, somebody's doing heavy ass black magic, baby. Okay, because you're an alchemist. Cancel. Somebody's trying to get in your head, but this ain't nothing but haters talking behind your back, okay? Somebody's mad because they can't buy love, okay? They mad because they can't buy your love, baby. <laughs> we got older women watching. Divine protection. What did I say? But you are protect protected. Some people can laugh. It's like, <laughs> they protected. Try to laugh and mock you and shit until they see God's worth and your real protection. Uh, how you do it to come up? Nah. Ha, ha, ha. Joke's on you. Try again, motherfucker. <laughs> These people, bro. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. Nah. Yeah, thirsty hoes. These people want attention. I am deserving. You are deserving her. Yeah, block throat chakra. What did I say? They're trying to block your throat chakra. Somebody don't want you to speak up. They don't want you to say what needs to be said. I'm sorry. To set you free. Somebody wants to be your voice. Yeah, backfire magic. You was the one. What did I say? Try again, motherfucker. Somebody's mad, angry. They feel like they're going to hell. Because like I said, this is a sinister ass silly. <laughs> I said sinister ass silly. This is <laughs> They are silly. Spirit said this person's a goofy. This is a sinister ass city that you live in. Okay? Somebody wants you to sell your soul so bad, okay? <laughs> Somebody's like, just sell your soul already. Like, these people are just tricks and hoes. Yeah, money is evil. I can't make this up. Separated, so you separated yourself. Yeah, you said that is not my destiny. Maybe these people are like, you know, you're like, nah, I know I can manifest good, and you just walked away. Shit, fuck that shit. Yeah, it's hopeless. Don't give up. <laughs> Money flows where your attention goes. I'm telling you, these people want to drain you because they can't win, and they know you an empress, honey. Lord bless. Yeah, and you tap into your crown chakra, baby. You are woke. You're very highly, you have a strong intuition. Yeah, and somebody's worried about you being married. They worried about somebody coming in and giving you the happiness <laughs> that you deserve. Somebody's worried about you being extra happy because you're breaking generational curses her and you are chosen. Shit, I can't make this up. You're growing mentally. What did I say? They want you to be ill, baby. You ain't ill. And you know... Clearly, what the fuck is going on here, right? Okay, give me more for my collective. What I say, set me free. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> connect with your angels. Four, three, two. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> who we meditation brings answers. Okay, you looking for your job? Meditate, baby. I can't make this up. Level up. What else, bird? Yeah, copycat because you have. People that are failing to keep you stuck. I'm telling y'all, these people just won't stop because you loving yourself. I'm telling you, God wants you to dive deeper. Then we have Karmic Sister, Green. Have my baby. Ooh, wait, that's too much energy. 
Yeah, yeah, you are not hired. See what I'm saying? You could be trying to get a job and shit. Can't find a job because they're like, nah. Because God is like, where are you at? Earth. I'm telling you, connect with the earth. <laughs> Y'all. Yeah, get back. The universe is getting you back. Okay. Ooh, I can't make this shit up. Whoever you are, play lottery. Okay. We have one, one, one. Because you a light worker here. And what did I tell you? Get the fuck out that city. They sending entities to attack you. They could be sending monitoring spirits and everything. People keep asking you all these fucking questions. Like, why the fuck you want to know how much my motherfucking rent is and how much my car payment is? And how much I pay for this and how much I pay for that? And how much... Are you going to fucking help? Are you going to send some business our fucking way? Are you going to fucking... Nah. These people are competing. Ancestors protection because wealth. What did I say? Eat a... Because you're part of the 144,000 collective. I am happy. Affirmation. Now, what I tell you, you a happy warrior. And they fucking mad because of who you are. Because they know who, they knew who you was. Okay? Before you even knew. Yeah, manifestation and liberation as soon as I cut the back. Because they knew you was a fucking powerful manifester. I didn't want to from this day. I'm sorry, y'all. People piss me off. Yeah, these people don't have no intuition intuition in verse they're not using the intuition because you're speaking the truth they don't like the, they don't want to hear the truth they don't want to hear the naked truth yeah they grieving now yeah speak up in reverse they didn't want you to speak up what did i say they wanted you to keep going through storms but you feel safe now this could even be an auntie that betrayed you her but it's your season because you know your worth. You're not self-sabotaging yourself. This person's enraged because they didn't use their intuition when it comes to forgiveness. Somebody just wanted you to self-sabotage, but they didn't know you had good juju. Good juju. And it was time for you to level up her and be an alchemist. Give me one more. Yeah, pleasure. Sacred lust. And there's something going on with this sacred energy. Like I said, he's... I don't know. They, they do something sinister. Somebody's doing something a little strange for a piece of change. I just heard somebody's doing something. <laughs> but they didn't want you to say it. They wanted you to shut up. Man, don't say that. How they get, ain't nobody worried about how they get their fucking money. But they worried about yours. The fairy ring, new skills, advanced training, rapid improvements. They worried about yours because they wonder how the fuck you getting this quick come up. Because it's time to become a great leader because you're, you're called. God is calling you. We have siblings, your friend, younger friends, responsibilities. You have a lot of responsibilities, sir. Yeah, Spurs said reconsider your alliances, make new connections, sir. Get y'all souls, truth, and an angel number. Give me one angel number for my collective. So we got 999. <laughs> Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still awaiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique, okay, period, poo. Then we have number eight. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the flow, the infinity loop of creation. I am successful. And this is the year of the eight, y'all, the year of the dragon. Did y'all see a shit about uh, the Chinese uh, restaurants with the cats? You know what's so crazy, y'all? Me and my, we had literally went and had some Chinese food like a few days before this shit happened. And my daughter's food fell on the floor, right? Well, she had a dream on January 1st. Woke up January 1st and told me about this dream, y'all, she had. And we was at a, a Chinese restaurant and the man tried to kill me. I told her, don't eat it, she said. And the man killed me. And when, I, when she yelled at me, when I yelled at her, she said, I yelled at her, don't eat it. And then he tried to kill her. So, y'all, we woke up the next two days. She woke up. I'm, I'm sorry. She woke up the next two days after that. She's like, I was so scared. 
we found out that the, the Chinese restaurants had got shut down in Kentucky, like seven or eight of them, uh, for for selling cats and dogs. And they've been saying that Chinese people put cats in, in their food for years, but <laughs> it just goes to show, you know, the year of the eight, the year of the dragon, a lot of things are going to be exposed this year. This even with the with the T.D. Jakes, they've been saying things and rumors about him for years, but like I said, okay, when he said let there be light, things are going to be exposed, so the truth's going to be revealed. The fake high priestess, the ones that's going to black magic, the ones that are behind the scenes, at the mile, holy year than thou, things are going to be revealed this year. So, like I said, it's all about what side you on. <laughs> but when you on God's side, you will never lose. Now I'm trying to tell you, you might fall, but you ain't going to fall all the way down. Okay. <laughs> Give me one soul truth. God's gonna always pick you up, okay? Whoever you are. What is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? What story are you telling yourself when you think about your dreams? What is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind? If you are not living in the life you desire, it's because a part of you doesn't believe it possible. Today's so action, it's time to upgrade. Look your belief in the eye. Where did it come from? What new belief are you ready to adopt in its place? How will this change your results? Remember your belief is the root of your results. Own it till it upgraded. And these, this is why these people are mad. God wants you to upgrade your life and he's calling you. You're not putting yourself in this position. God is and see that's why these people are, are misconfused because how do you not have nothing and then you do. <laughs> It's because God, baby. <laughs> I, you know, when you're humbled and, and God knows that you can handle these these trials and tribulations and you're humbled enough to not rub it in people's face when you lose it, he's going to bless you with more, right? Okay, we have what risk can I take today? Be not mistaken, you will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. You will have to take the big scary leap, but do not freak because your soul has wings. <laughs> Today's so action. What risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you really made up. Ooh, baby. See, don't play it small. Play it. Don't play it safe. See what I say? You don't work a job. You are a job. You got to step and take a leap of faith. Then we have, how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Buddha. <laughs> Today's so action, choose one self-care action to do today. One, set stronger boundaries. Two, meditate and listen to your heart. Three, speak to yourself with compassion. Four, focus on your strengths. Five, say no to something that isn't a soul, yes. Six, say yes to something you are afraid of. Seven, let go of what you cannot control. Eight, stay far away from drama and negativity. Nine, ask for help and allow it. 10 write down three things you are grateful for so yeah you guys it's time to get in the attitude of gratitude maybe you know affirmations confirmations okay that's all i got for you guys love and light namaste i'll